Should we shield ourselves against coronavirus? Since most of us have already heard the word coronavirus, shall we say a couple of things about the not yet known shield against it? It has become our new habit uh, for the last few years uh, that uh, every winter of the Northern Hemisphere a new pandemic arises, most often a viral respiratory disease affecting people and causing a few too many casualties. The most viral fact about coronavirus is not its spreading rate or lethality, but mainly the viral transmissibility of fear and stress related to it. Why did that happen? What caused us that much stress about this disease in specific? Humanity has faced many viral pandemics such as influenza, H1N1, Ebola and many more so far which have been more dangerous and viral and more lethal than the coronavirus disease. That's an up-to-date scientific fact. The extent of the coronavirus references could be mainly due to the spreading of internet usage, which is significantly increasing year by year. This means more users, more access, and more information circulated via the internet. Furthermore, plenty information sources potentially magnified the actual impact of this disease for commercial or other purposes. So, what is and what is not the coronavirus disease? Well, regarding what this disease is, I think that there are many experts and specialists worldwide who could inform people properly about it. I could only share with you a couple of thoughts about what this disease is not. This disease is certainly not its mental health implications, such as the fear, the anxiety or panic attacks associated with or related even to the sound of the name of the disease. How would you suggest to do with this pandemic? Well, first of all, coronavirus is already known to be easily well spread among people. We could minimize the virus-related spreading only to what the virus can cause on its own. Having said that, we should avoid further propagation of fear and anxiety related to the likelihood of this specific infection. This is quite a challenge for everyone. Do not spread fear and anxiety about the virus when the virus itself is highly contagious. Anxiety or panic do not protect you. In fact, it can only disorientate you, blur you, and make you less effective to protect yourself against the virus. Safeguard yourself and those around you from scaremongering and fear. When we are in a state of increased stress, our body produces high amounts of cortisol, which is known to be the most effective anti-inflammatory substance in our body. In other words, when we are anxious, due to high cortisol levels, we undermine our body's ability to deal with any harmful factor through the process of inflammation. So, when we get anxious about this virus, we deduce the defense and effectiveness of this defense that our body can develop against the virus. Ultimately, you decide whether or not you want to deal with the virus with the best of your abilities. On the other hand, our mind magnifies whatever it focuses on. This happens automatically, not controlled by our will, and concerns both the pros and cons. If you focus on the threat of an infection, you automatically understand it as bigger. You feel it bigger than it really is. One thing is to keep your eyes open and clearly see what's going on. And another is to focus intensively on something that is happening and to perceive it enlarged. Regarding that, you decide again. Before the outbreak of this pandemic, most of us had no particular anxiety about our health. Besides that, many factors could have disrupted our fine health even if we hadn't focused on any of them. Whether we take our health for granted or ignore what may be detrimental to it or overestimate anything that may harm it, all these are extreme attitudes towards managing and perceiving our health. And as the ancient Greeks used to say, any measure is excellent. Mankind has gone through many diseases, plagues, disasters, natural or biological, and has successfully survived. Humans have managed to survive because they have shown that they are capable of adapting, coping and surviving 
even from very difficult situations. Do you really think that the humanity's progress and evolution will be restrained because of this particular virus? You've been through a lot in your life, many of which were difficult. You have managed to survive and cope with various problems, many diseases, and you are still alive. Is there a specific reason for you to think that this successful survival of yours will be interrupted by the current pandemic? At this point, it is worth mentioning that the best possible defense against this virus, as also in any disease, is to maintain an excellent physical and mental state. If you want to empower your defense against this viral disease, you should take care of yourself and improve your living conditions. In this way, you can indeed protect your health. Even before the outbreak of this viral disease, most of us kept distance from each other, leaning over a cell phone, just waving our figure. This is one of the main reasons that information on this viral disease has spread even more rapidly than the disease itself. And this awareness of the virus spreading tends us even further away from humans. It is a vicious circle that feeds on anxiety and fear, which keeps us isolated from the people around us and that constantly aggravates our distress. If you can do something about this virus itself, you may be able to break this vicious circle by sharing your thoughts with the people you choose. This might help you to stop exaggerating your fear caused by these thoughts. Since this viral disease is mainly transmitted indoors, this might be a good opportunity for all of us to remember that we are only a part of nature too. Avoiding crowded and closed areas, we can enjoy the contact with nature. Also, this survival bell that the viral disease has struck for all of us can be seen as a very special reminder that our time and our lives are not for waste, but only for appreciation. After all, we can understand our lives as a gift only, that all we can do with it is to enjoy it the way we want it to. These were some thoughts that I wanted to share with you about the concern of our times. Your comments are more than welcome and will make our communication mutual. Subscribe to my channel if you wish to and tap the bell on the right to stay tuned for the next videos. New videos are coming out shortly. You can also join our weekly contest for a free coaching session. The only requirement to enter the contest is to subscribe to the channel and share and like the latest solutions video. Thank you for your time and for watching this video. See you next week. Until then, stay healthy.